Come gather round, children, to hear the story, The Derp Before Christmas. Twas the derp before Christmas, when all through Ponyville, not a pony was stirring, save that Pinkie Pie clone every pony thought had been killed. The muffins were hung by the chimney with care, though no pony was certain why they'd been put there. Dinky was nestled all snug in her bed, while nightmares of fanfics filled her with dread. And Derpy in her stolen Wonder Bolts uniform had once again forgotten the smell of chloroform. When out on the lawn there arose such a noise, Derpy sprang from her bed and tripped on Dinky's toys. Away to the window she flew like Rainbow Dash, crashed into the wall and shattered the glass. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow made it easy to see it was forty below. When what did Derpy see with one frozen eye? But a black chariot pulled by eight Pegasi. With a dark-winged driver singing Grand Fortuna, Derpy knew in a moment it was Princess Luna. More rapid than eagles, her ponies they flew, and she cracked a thick whip to scold them anew. Now Rainbow Dash, now Fluttershy, now wing Wildfire and Dew-Winged Applejack. On Lightning Dust, on Thunder Lane, on Snowflake and Scootaloo with a jetpack. To the top of the tree prairie, to the top of the stall. No dash that way, dash that way, look out for the wall. As dry leaves before the chariot obstacle crash, so too went the chariot crushing Rainbow Dash. Up to the housetop did the Pegasi explode with the chariot full of toys and Luna in tow. And then in a twinkling, Derpy heard on the roof Luna hitting Rainbow with the sole of her hoof. As Derpy drew in her head and was standing in place, down the chimney Luna came after Rainbow bucked her in the face. She was dressed in, well, nothing from her hoof to her rear, and she had a bruise rapidly forming on her ear. A bundle of toys she had flung on her back, and she looked quite surprised for Rainbow's sudden attack. Luna's eyes, how they twinkled. Her teeth were so scary. Her sudden appearance chased off Derpy's cousin Larry. Thank you, Lyra. Her long-faced mouth was drawn up in a grin. Derpy thought her death would soon begin. The stump of a muffin Luna held tight in her teeth and set it amidst Derpy's holiday wreath. She had a long wingspan and a mane like no other and her voice when she spoke made the whole house shudder. She was skinny and short, a right frightening alicorn, and Derby laughed when she saw her in spite of the scorn. A wink of Luna's eye and an earth-shattering shout soon let Derby know what this was all about. Luna spoke but a word, a consolation for Dinky, a wish and a dream at a cupcake from Pinky. And laying her wings aside of her nose and giving a shout up the chimney she rose. She sprang to her chariot, to her team made them vroom, and away they all flew with a sonic rain boom. But Derpy heard Luna exclaim, ere her flight path did roughen, Derpy Christmas to all, and to all a good muffin. Need to fix my fire.